Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Serene Queen TV. I'm your host. I didn't give you guys a name last time. I'm just going to go by T. I don't really want people all up in my motherfucking business like that. My name is T, okay? Um, this is Serene Queen TV. Like, share, subscribe. Get in the comments below and give whatever opinion you have, whether you agree or not, and check out the links in the description. Uh, go to the website, follow me on social media. You know, I don't really be active like that, but you know, go check out some of the stuff I post. And otherwise, thank you for being here. And I love my subscribers and everybody that's viewing this video. Thank you. Let's talk about Beyonce. I know, ooh, it's gonna get you guys a little bit riled up. Whatever. Today, I'm gonna, I might do another video about her too with some of the press surrounding her and some of the mystery surrounding her lately but in this video i'm here to talk about the decline of beyonce's music and why people say she's overrated as a black woman i don't believe beyonce is overrated um i just can't say that i'm not gonna say that but there are people who think that she is and today i might play devil's advocate and give them a give them a case but you know, what I'm really, here's the thing. I don't think she's overrated overall. I think her catalog is overrated. I think her music is overrated. I don't think her influence, I don't think her artistry, like the, her visuals and like overall and like her dancing and just her inner her as an entertainer, I don't think she's overrated as an entertainer. But I just think her music catalog is a bit overrated. So, um, and I think her music has declined over the years. I think that's part of like why her music catalog isn't up to par. I think just musically like Beyonce has declined and I'm a big fan. So let's talk about why I think Beyonce's music is declining. Um, to be really honest, I've just think Beyonce really fucked up with Formation. <laughs> I know a lot of you like Formation, but when I heard Formation, I was like, I hate this. And it was like another like debut uh, single that I just fucking hated because I also really hated Girls, like the run the world, who run the world? Girls, I hated that song. I just like despised it. I was like, this is such trash music. And like people just excuse Beyonce of making trash music because she has so much clout and so much power in the industry. And it's very obvious once you, you know, wake up to certain things that she's able to like do that. Like her and Drake are able to like have a lot of shitty music and like put out shitty albums and like stop evolving artistically at some point because they're doing so much stuff behind the scenes that the powers that be are just like, well, you know, we're just gonna, you know, just let it be whatever the fuck is gonna be. And because they're, because they're pushing a program or like they're pushing something else, it's really not even about the music. It's about them pushing the program. So, you know, and like this person has gotten to this point, they don't need to really artistically grow anymore because they're at a point where, they're so influential and people already love them so much that they're naturally biased towards the product that they're putting out anyway. And they're gonna support it anyway. Oh. Nikki's still putting out hits. She still isn't like artistically tapped out, but I think Drake and Beyonce are. Um, I don't think Jay-Z is, but I think Drake and Beyonce are. So with Beyonce, I just feel like at a certain point, she's kind of like a little bit tapped out, kind of like with Renaissance, you know, fucked up, tapped out, lyrically a little bit tapped out. And here's the real issue because there's, so, there's a big elephant in the room that like has to be addressed. And I hate that I'm kind of going in all different directions, but just roll with me. The real problem as to why Beyonce and Drake are artistically tapped out is because they don't write their music. As far as Beyonce, I just think Beyonce never wrote that much of her own music. I think she's a visionary. I think she's a talented person. I, th I think she can sing. I know she fucking can dance her ass off. I know she cannot act. But I think Beyonce never wrote her own shit. 
I think, you know what? Here's what I really think. I think Beyonce stopped writing after Des- after Destiny's Child. I think she wrote some of that stuff during Destiny's Child, but I think like once she like went solo and became like super fucking huge, I think she just stopped writing her own shit and cuz she probably doesn't have that much time to. And here's another thing. The problem though is um, Beyonce has positioned herself, like her and people in her camp have positioned her like she writes her own shit when like she doesn't. And that is why I'm going to address the big elephant of the AOTY, the album of the year Grammy. I know a lot of fellow Beehive members want her to have the album of the year. And as a black woman, and I want her to like, I want the win for Beyonce because I like Beyonce, but it's like, Beyonce, you don't write your own shit. That's why they're not giving you AOTY. Because think about it, you guys. It doesn't make any sense for an artist as big as Beyonce, who doesn't write her own music, whose music, she's she's huge clout-wise, but like sales-wise, she is not, she hasn't really made Anything that has like just truly, truly like I don't Beyonce doesn't have a bad, a Michael Jackson bad album. I don't think she has like a dangerous or whatever, like a thriller. Like Beyonce doesn't, she doesn't sell like Britney Spears. She doesn't sell like Michael Jackson, you know, things that sound good, but I just can't say like Beyonce is justified for all little Grammys that she has. I know she gets them because her husband, you know, is really helping her. That's how the fuck Megan got her Grammys. You know, Megan did not deserve three fucking Grammys. Like, but Jigaman, everybody that fucks with him gets Grammys. You know, Kanye has a bunch of Grammys. Jay-Z himself has a bunch of them. Rihanna has a few of them. And Beyonce has a ton of them, but she's getting every single Grammy, but the big one, cause she's not writing her own shit. And a lot of her music is just like a lot of other people's music full of samples. It's just done very well, but it's full of samples. It's not original music and it's not her writing it. Even when she does have an original beat, it's other writers and Beyonce is very mysterious about how much she really writes and Beyonce can get a she can get a few good songs but I just think the way she runs her business is part of her downfall too and I think that that's what I'm going to talk about in the next thing I do about her the next video I do about her and her husband because I what I've heard is Beyonce don't pay that great she wants to pay you shitty or if she does pay you well she wants to take all of your rights and she wants to put her name on everything. Kind of like really just kind of just shutting you out. And, you know, she just is a real cut a check type of chick. And she has no problem just taking your shit and paying you later and settling out of court. And so with business practices like that, those aren't good practices. And those and people who are legit and people who do business the right way and have self-respect don't fuck with people like that. They don't fuck with people doing, you know, their show business and then there's hoe business. And we can do show business, but we can't do hoe business. We can't do backdoor deals, paying under the table, you know, all of this like shadowy smoke and mirror shit. And people who really move like people with something to lose, people who really move legitimately and take their shit serious, don't fuck with all of that. So I think that that's really why she's not getting uh, great songs. Beyonce got hits, but she just doesn't write as much as she wants people to believe. And she has some shady business practices that are causing the music to decline. And I think if you do write as a writer, I think if you do write, you'll be better off because you... You, it just like your music is just so much more raw, so much better, you know, you, it just because you wrote it, like it's your soul, you're putting you into it and nobody can express what you want to say truly like you. And I mean, I guess not everybody has the gift of writing. Not, I, I don't want to say that because there are people who, you know, might, might write you a song and you're like, wow, this is really what I need to say. As a person with the gift of writing, I can express myself. So that's all that I know. But I think at least if you try, you'll be fine because you can just keep trying. 
But also, I think if Beyonce did write more of her own music, even if she's like, okay, I'm gonna write some of it and then I'm gonna get some help on half of the song or, you know, whatever, whatever. I think if she was more honest and if it was more clear about all that she writes, she just might have an AOTY. She, she just might, I mean, Renaissance might've been better if she really like did a lot of it herself more than she, she did more than what she wants us to believe and really put some love into Renaissance. I think Renaissance could have been a lot better album and that's just me, but you know, let's get into the, get into the comments. Let's talk. My verdict is She's been doing the sing rap thing for a while. She's an R&B singer with the hip hop vibe and influence, but it doesn't help that she married a rapper. The writing isn't there though, regardless. The lack of writing her own music is a problem. The mystery around it is a problem. Um, overall, she makes music with a positive message. She does have some toxic love messages in there for black women, but she's here to push the agenda. She can't just get away with making all great positive hits. She has to slip in, you know, some toxic stuff every now and then. If you know what I'm talking about, comment below because, you know, she does, um, she does, some of her music is like, like people have said, you know, it's like, girl, I'm not doing all that for a nigga. Beyonce be, you know, ready to die for Jay-Z. Bitch, no, it ain't that serious. So, um, she can sing. I'm sick of people like Dion or Dion, more Warwick being rude. No, Beyonce is not Mariah, but she's not Candy Burris or SZA neither. So stop it. Okay. Cause Beyonce had y'all bitches on social media yelling and crooning after Dubai. So don't say, oh, you know, she really can't even sing like that, or she could be a great singer. Beyonce is a great singer, but she could be a good writer if she tried. And that is what Dion or Dion Warwick meant to say or should have said. Because the lady can sing and she does have influence. Again, after Dubai, y'all was on social media embarrassing the piss out yourself trying to sing the intro to Drunk in Love and Baby and uh and Countdown. But it's just, she could be a great writer if she really got up in there and wrote her own music. And it was clear that she does. And, you know, artists and other artists and other writers weren't getting fucked and robbed because Beyonce wants to brand herself a certain way that's really not authentic to who she really is. So other than that, let's talk. I'm so glad I finally got this video out the way today. I love my girl, B. But I acknowledge the truth. So, you know, have a great day, you guys. I have more content coming. Bye.